All right, it's that time. Let's talk about batteries. I'm kind of excited about these ones. Okay, this is what came in the door today. We are about to get more than a megawatt hours worth of these. A EV grade battery, it's, a, it's an EV battery. It's based off of an LG cam cell. Uh, it's a 218 watt hour, uh, 60 amp power cell. And it's a range in 3P. So three of these cells are in parallel. So this becomes a module uh, with 180 amp hours, right? And so the cool thing about these is they come in modules, sort of like this one right here, but it's a 10S, which is 36 volts. I don't know who needs 36 volts at this you know, level, unless you're building something like a higher voltage and stuff and you want like 30S, 40S or something then you can buy four of those modules and then, you know, connect them in series and then you're good to go, right? But the cool thing about these is that they're modular. They, you could stack them. This, this comes right off of right here. You see that? You just slide it in there and now you have a 8S. What I've made here is a 7S module. This is a 7S module. It's 24 volts and 180 amp hours. So it's a four and a half kilowatt hour uh, module right here. And it's really small and it's light. It's about, what was it, like 40, 40 some pounds, 45 pounds or something like that, right? So it's very light, very compact. I'm going to be able to offer these for like $100 a kilowatt hour. Well, by the way, they're brand new, they're unused, zero cycles. The data sheet says these are 2C, so I, you know, the cool thing about EV batteries is usually was that they could push a lot of power. These ones are kind of wimpy. They only two C, right? So they're usually in a car uh, and they have like a 60 kilowatt hour battery and they only ask like 150 out of it. So like, just like two C, right? So, so these ones could give you about a hundred amps each, right? So, so this battery right here would be able to give you 24 volts, 300 amps, um, which is what? Like 10, almost 10 kilowatt? So, I mean, you know, this is a little battery and it can give you 10 kilowatt. So usually um, what happens is because this is, this is modular, then you'll be able to put a bunch of different setups for this ones, right? So this is a 7S, you get a second module like this, and then, or you make a 4S module and then you connect it to one of the 10S modules. And then now you're a 14, uh s right so uh 48 volts now you can run a full house out of it and then that's gonna be able to give you like 20 kilowatt uh peak right uh but it's going to be almost uh like nine kilowatt yeah like nine kilowatt hours uh for about a thousand bucks and that is gonna be really really cool that's why i'm excited about these right of course they don't have a BMS. This is just raw cells. So you have to put a BMS and all such stuff. Uh, but because they're modular, it's gonna be easy because you have access to all the, you know, the terminals and stuff like that. They do have cooling, right? So these are the cooling uh, fins right here that are their pouch cells, right? So these go on the side and then they come down and they bend right here. So in reality here, you can put a cooling jacket a cooling a chill plate it's called right so it goes on here goes screwed on here and then that you can run liquid through there and then run them uh you can cool these so yeah they are i think we're going to be able to make the cooling plate available also if you wanted to so, all right this is just a quick video that i want to make on these i have another two videos i think that are scheduled for this week some of them are like long time in the making uh, and it's taking me a long time because they're very, very complex and stuff. But stay tuned for those. Hopefully, you guys find, at the very least, interesting or entertaining. All right? Okay. Thank you for watching this video. We'll see you guys on the next one.